We're now moving into our top five teams. Very exciting stuff. Um, drum roll. Uh, dunk. We have Luna Lads. <laughs> uh, featuring. Uh, so um, I had them predicted for fifth. Run had them predicted for fourth. And Spider had them predicted for fifth. Earning them 28 points. Final prediction. Fifth place. Um, so this team's featuring Taipan, Lilbo, Pug Salad, Salad LT Noodle, Okarai, and Hasbro. So, um, obviously, featuring three players that um, made it to finals in Bendigo, Taipan, Lilbo, and Okarai on um, Eclipse. Um, so this will be the first tournament for Pug Salad, LT Noodle, and Hasbro outside of SEQ LTA, bit of a mouthful, events. Um, but like I was kind of saying before, man, like Queensland is just like such a proving ground for like, you know, you have any rookie player coming from Queensland, you know, at the very least their pack skills and fundamentals are going to be like pretty damn solid. Um, so, you know, whereas a lot of these other teams, we've placed them lower because they have newer players. There is something to be said about the new players that come from, from, um, Queensland. I mean, like hell, like Wolfpack got third place in their first year, so... <laughs> yeah i think um, going through the proving ground these guys are gonna be way scarier than the team is on paper yeah 100 percent um so my understanding is that actually lt noodle hasbro and pug salad um are going to be playing together on a development team for nationals so very exciting um so yeah it's good to see it's good to see them like come being able to come to a pre -nuts. hopefully we can see them more because you know they i always say that um you know, you have a new player before a competition and you have a new player like after their first competition. Like it's such a significant, like they get such a, like a boost in experience and skill after those tournaments. So if they can make it to a bunch of these pre-nights, by the time Nationals comes around, they're going to be like, they're going to be super scary players. Um, I also believe I've been informed that I don't know which ones, but two of these guys are like identical twins. Can someone in chat Ooh. verify that for me? Yeah, um, it's Pug and Noodle. That is going to be such chaos. Yeah. You're like, yeah, <laughs> LT Noodle has. And then LT Noodle walks in and gets the base. Uh, and you're like, ah, oh, I definitely meant the other guy. Whoops. Um, <laughs> this is going to suck. I'm excited for those shenanigans. <laughs> um, you know, maybe they have some, like, identical twin telepathic bloody freaking thing <laughs> going on. Um, so that's going to be very exciting um yeah uh spider what um i believe you've probably played these guys more like the the the, the rookie players more than runt and myself so what, what 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 do you what do you have on them um i think yeah pug and noodle i've i've seen um i don't think i've like genuinely versed them much um but yeah i think what's scary is I think you touched on it, but just the unknown, not really knowing what's going to happen. Um, I think it is going to come to a case where we just turn up and we just get absolutely smacked around by these guys. I think if they play well, they they could easily like make finals and then potentially be a contender for Vikings, um, which is a massive statement. But I think Taipan just knows how to run a team of all levels and how to like complement it. So I think he will be trying to work with Orcry um, to just benefit this team as much as possible. And I guess it kind of comes down to what their intentions are with the comp, if they're coming in to perform or if they're coming in to learn or both. So I think it's a bit of a like um, a hard team to talk about because I think they could go absolutely anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. And then Little Bo as well is just like one of those players that I've seen be so, so powerful in Queensland, but every time he steps out, he kind of struggles. So I really just want to see from him um, like a good performance in like adapting to a different maze and a different system as well. I think that's one thing where he struggles is that adapting side of things. So hopefully um, I, I want this team to do well, even though I'm versing them. Um, I really want to see them place high. But yeah, I think it's a complete coin flip where they end up. That's really interesting because I've only seen Lilbo and like Bendigo and stuff and outside of Queensland, I'm like, He's already amazing. Like, he's already, like, a top-tier player or, like, far better than any new player has a right to be. So, I can't imagine what yeah. it is like in Queensland. God damn. 
Yeah, when when I versed him in Queensland, his confidence was like through the roof. Um, obviously, probably home site, but um, in Bendigo, I it's a bit cold, but I expected a little bit more. Um, and I think since he's done Bendigo, we might get that um, when it comes to Hobart Nats. But I don't know if Prenats one will be that time for him. Look, you'd think getting a finals placing in the team's event in your first year will give you give your your ego a very healthy boost. So, yeah, very scary <laughs> stuff. Lilbo actually like absolutely ruined my life on the last day of um <laughs> on the last day of the team's <laughs> event. Um, I reckon he put me through a reload probably three times, and I was like, I was like, no, I can get him. I just need to win this duel, and then I'll get in the base. And then like that just never happened. And I was like, okay, I've just been absolutely bl- diffed. Um, so yeah, I actually don't remember seeing him much like throughout the tournament, but in that specific game, <laughs> he was doing extremely well. Um, and he, yeah, he really handed it to me. So I'm excited to see, like, obviously, like I said, he, confidence boost after getting a finals place in your first year, more training and stuff. Um, he's going to be a, yeah, he's definitely the player I'm like, Obviously excited to see like these new guys, but I'm excited to see like how how Lil Bo's developed as well. And then obviously Taipan Orca, I've been around for like a long time as well. So I expect to see the the usual good stuff from them. Um all right. Any 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 more thoughts on this team? I think it's just one of those teams that I look at again and just has every spot, like every position covered, um, and covered quite well. So mm. I think yeah, I I think you said it wrong, but I think when we turn up and start versing this team, I think it's going to be a bit different to what we can see from looking at these names. I think there's going to be quite a difference um, in performance. Uh, I almost called you Ninja Run. Run? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Literally for no reason. I think I, I I think I read Ninja's name in the chat. Or gotcha. something. Actually, no, he's not even in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just run you got any last thoughts on them um yeah i just think like when it comes to finals they're gonna have a really solid three and then new players the thing about new players from queensland is they're not scared of anyone they'll just stand on anyone and go who were you and just ruin you and <laughs> Just so, so yeah, demoralizing. Who's, who's this, who's this <laughs> yeah. chump? It's like a guy that's been to, you know, nationals since 2015, trophied and stuff, and it's like, damn, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so if it, it, that's, like, it, it's it's such a good thing to have on a team, just outside defenders that don't know who anyone are. So they just go, I'm just going to shoot them. And it's great. Because um, one of the biggest things for new players is they're afraid of people that are like, yeah. they know. So I think it's a really, uh, it's, it's going to help them a lot just being completely fearless. There's, there's definitely an observation I've made over the years where um, the, the role that, confidence plays in like just let's just say a one-on-one duel right the player that goes oh my god that player is really good right is probably gonna lose that duel you know there has to be you've lost already you've already lost like you've you've lost mentally it's pretty like it's pretty hard to win that duel like whereas i think for the guys that want to get to that top level and want to get really dominant there has to be a level of like i don't want to say disrespect isn't the right word but like a um just an acknowledgement like you know, knowing how much time you've put in knowing your own like value and stuff and just being like i can win this duel like this guy's got nothing on me there's something <laughs> to be said about the role that that plays um so i actually played around we played around with this a little bit where um dossy for his first tournament um in darwin we made a point of kind of like not really telling him who anyone was he and was like one of the g- people for sure screw Dossie. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he would come out of a game and he would and we would be like oh how'd you go that game Doss? and be like yeah i don't know who he was i just kind of like put him through a reload a bunch of times it'll be like some like really <laughs> high level player and we're like Doss, you're like crazy man <laughs> um so for any just i guess a bit of you know more ethereal advice for players going to nationals or going to their first tournaments or for more experienced players taking newer players maybe play around with making a point and like not telling your new players who anyone is and just yeah. like see what happens see what the results you get yeah so um, everyone should just stop watching this stream like <laughs> don't worry about it you'll be right 
<laughs> well, yeah, okay. <laughs> No, everyone no, should watch good stuff. And doing good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Everyone should watch and read up and learn as much as they can about every player. Follow the Laser Sports Academy on everything and you'll find out. I take it back. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that views. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Knowing so you can be cautious, but knowing that everyone's shootable is like the best way to go into something. So know what they're good at and then go, oh, perfect. I know their weakness then. Easy. Yeah. All right. Any last thoughts on these guys? Fantastic. All right, Luna lads, best of luck. Looking forward to seeing all the, all those new guys, um, seeing what you can do. Um, we're now moving into the the last column, everyone. I almost spoiled it um, <laughs> on the other side because I have all the revealed placings on the other side. Okay. In fourth place, we have... Burn can't phase her now um i had them in fourth run had them in sixth and spider had them in fourth earning them 28 points with a final predictor placing of fourth place um so we have um arcane as the captain whippet raven chuch and shifter now this isn't the most like scary like all female presenting team that i've ever seen um, I don't know what it is. You know, we have the three like queens, the three goats of the of like in terms of like female plays we have in the scene between Arcane, Raven, and Chuch. I actually I have the I have the women's shield here, right? Because Chuch. <laughs> Give me one sec. I'm gonna go get it. One sec. <laughs> of course, he has the shield. <laughs> Let me hold on to you for that boy. <laughs> I'll use it as a pillow. <laughs> yeah, Lauren Lauren uses it as a as a door stopper. Um No. Don't need okay. more, I've got this. Here it is. Okay. So the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The last nine years has been won by Arcane, Raven, and Church. That's mad. Right, so put put those three guys on the team. Oh, three 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 ladies on the team together. That's some <laughs> scary stuff. Um, with her, obviously, I think she got second in women's for Bendigo, if I'm not mistaken. Spider, you should probably yeah. know this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, she did. Yeah. Um, and actually, it was like it was pretty close. Like she she got really really close to to Chuch. Um, so you know, definitely one of the stronger. Um, Newer up and coming. Obviously, this will be the Bendigo was her second year, right? Or was it her first? Year? Yeah. No, she did. She that played one. as well. Um, you know, she's definitely coming into her own. And Shifter, um, they did like um, so they played on the Darwin Dingoes uh, for Bendigo, and um, I actually like obviously there is a a skill discrepancy between those four ladies and Shifter, but Shifter hasn't been playing as long. And um, but I was actually like pleasantly su surprised um by Shifter when I, I think my team ended up versing the Dinkos like, probably quite a few times actually just over the course of Round Robin and um Cascade. She was playing more of that last line role, um, and she was one of the few people that was actually last lighting like inside the bases in Bendigo and actually doing like a pretty damn good job. Um, I, actually I think. The Dingoes were the first team we versed that had a player in the base. And so in like it was in the round robin. I've come through the front door of red, you know, killed a bunch of door defenders. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Pop a shot in the base. And she was just like, she was just like there and just shot me like instantly. And I was like, oh, damn, that's really annoying. And then pretty I struggled sure, to get her out. Pretty sure that happened to all of us. So you're not alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um no, I think um even though there is like a skill gap. Um, between those four ladies and Shifter. Shifter is by no means like a, a, a bad player. And it was kind of like we were saying where like the, the last line position from what you've kind of said, Run, is definitely a thing in this arena. And so they can put Shifter in a base and then you put like, you know, I think I personally, obviously I'm biased, but I think Chach is like one of the best door defenders like AU. She's got like incredible comms. Obviously she's got a, like a very distinct, like voice being a lady, like in an arena full of like big belly men, they're like, "Hey, be front," you know. You can very distinctly hear it, and like absolute menace on a door. And then obviously, I mean, you can say that about all of these ladies, right? 
Um, yeah. I think this team, the 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 big determining. I actually in a few of my drafts had them a couple spots lower. And the big determining factor for me is um, so they actually made a point of why am I? I'm still clutching onto the shield. Like I don't. Want to <laughs> <laughs> um, they made a point of getting a. Are you putting a name um, on it? <laughs> no, 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 no. They made a point of getting a different player from each state, um, which is cool. But obviously, the drawback of that is like none of these players will have had the opportunity to play at all together. So this will be their first time playing as like. In fact, like, it's not like any of these can, like, pair up or anything. Like, as a whole, no one's played together. Um, so the big determining factor for these guys will be kind of figuring out their basic structure, um, you know, and then just how they want to play, right? But if they yeah. can figure that out, like, these players are, you know, they're the they're the, the ladies' goats. So yeah, um, big, 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 big things on the... Yeah, I could, set, I could definitely see these guys doing, like, crazy, crazy good. But if they can't pull that synergy together, I could see them dropping like quite a few spots as well. So, because yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, each one of these players is from literally a different region. Like you've got Annie, New Zealand, then you got New South Wales, Queensland, Northern Territory, and Adelaide. Like completely different. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a big uh, like uh, we say round robins the learning experience for this team. They're gonna like learn how to play with each other because they have never done it. They would have never got anything anywhere near it at all so they're gonna need some time to come together i reckon but yeah then you've got some amazing players um with it's one of the few people that has actually played this maze semi recently uh as well um i think she played like a, a fair bit of anchoring when she did play and was crushing it um like absolutely amazing in red base for example couldn't get her out so um i think Whippet or shifter will both make amazing anchors in this maze and like charge just the you talked about people having a presence in the arena earlier Chuch always has a presence um just has such an impact on the game but may get more on that on aftershock mm. um spider what have, what have you got to say for this team <laughs> the one thing I, I i don't like about looking at um i'm gonna be careful how i say this but Looking at like an all females team, is their comms are just like ear piercingly loud. Um, and I look at this team and I see like four people that I know for having like the loudest comms <laughs> in the maze. So I picture just like running away from their base because I can't think. Um, <laughs> but so basically, oh, yeah. yeah, just as huh? afraid of shifter on a door as like anyone else, probably more so, just because I know I won't be able yeah. to hear anything. Like, <laughs> literally. <laughs> um so yeah i think besides from that um i i just see like a, a stupid silly lineup of like shifter under probably like chuch and whip it on a door and then arcane and raven like pushing and i just i don't know i just don't see anyone getting through that confidently um so it, it's sick to see um that there is like a woman's team put together because i think um in a sport that we play it is quite like aggressive and um dominating by us males we love our egos and stuff like that but um i think like we've all put this team up high because we see the potential so i really hope that they actually tap into that um and somehow can pull together because it's not easy playing like normally when teams combine you at least have one person that you know really well hmm. um whereas this is like one person from each state besides like wa and stuff so it's just gonna be interesting to see how they go um but i'm yeah i think out of all the teams to watch, I think this is the one team that I'm going to enjoy watching the most um, and versing the least. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, um, damn, I didn't really think about that. Like, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder because, like, um, the reason like the typically like ladies' comms stand out is because compared to everyone else's comms they're like very distinct i wonder if they will have some crazy thing where like they actually like cancel each other out on the doors or something and like yeah. the last man struggles are here i wonder if that'll be I a, just, we'll find out i just think it's gonna cancel out every guy's voice in the entire maze you're not yeah. gonna hear any <laughs> other teams like they're just gonna dominate the comms and i think that's just gonna be the reality of the game <laughs> You'll be I'm in a different far. base, and you'll be <laughs> hearing different comms. You might do we know need to like create head signals every time we verse these guys. <laughs> like... Yeah, we doing. Yeah, we'll be doing um sign language. Nah, I'm all for it. Um, 
yeah, I think we'll see what happens. Um, if I think if they can find like a really nice, simple strategy, um, they have the ability uh individually to pull it off it's just whether they can pull it together but um like now, spider said i'm really looking forward to seeing this team play have any of these players have like in the past been attacking aside from raven because i knew that raven attacked a decent amount but generally more on the defensive side i think arcane kind of similar definitely attacks especially with cobra's dumps and stuff but are we expecting arcane raven attackers first or do the do we reckon they want low base games what are you kind of thinking that um, I think Arcane's like, yeah, very comfortable attacking. Um, I believe when she played on Crippleberries in 2018 in Albury, um, she was captaining that team. Um, I think that was also an all ladies team, if I'm not mistaken, but, um, she was definitely leading, leading from attack. So, and, uh, I know from personal experience, 2017 in Adelaide, um, she was, um, going on attack like quite often as well, like with Ace. Um, okay. and then, um, Chuch, Chuch definitely plays like more on like the defensive side, but we've I think in the last few, couple years, especially like um, she's been really wanting to like fully develop her skill set. So she in training she's been attacking like quite a lot, or she'll be playing like more of that like really aggressive like mid position and stuff, and just being a nuisance for like absolutely everyone in the arena. Um, but um, yeah, I think other than that, I'm I'm not I'm not sure actually. Yeah, because I feel like I have no doubt that they'll be definitely capable of getting bases, but I think I might be more afraid of just a very defensive game from these guys because their yeah. back pointing and positioning is going to be the scariest thing from them. So um, I think this might be the most like defense-oriented team of the competition, I'm guessing. And I think that'll play really well for them because the defense from all of them is going to be hard to crack. Mm. All right. Any final thoughts for, for these ladies? I just think it's a team where there's like one, at least one person from each tier of the competition. So it's going to be um, a good learning opportunity for all of them. I think there's like different levels throughout the whole team. So even like if their placement isn't as good, I think they're all going to walk away um, with learning a lot and having a great experience. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Alrighty. It's time. Top dogs. We're in the top dogs. Top oh, three. are we doing this? Are we doing this next week? Top three? <laughs> Tune in next time, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining in. Thank you, chat, for engaging. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Just kidding. I did I swapped to the FKs. We're back. Okay. <laughs> in third place, we have drum roll. Aftershock. Crazy. My boys. <laughs> Represent. My boy. Right. Um, so I placed us in second. Uh, Run and Spider placed us in third. How could you? Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, earning us 34 points. Um, and uh, final predictor placing of third place. So um, this time it's like a slightly different lineup. So we've actually lost Dossie. Um, he's taken like a, he's going to be taking a year off a hiatus. He's gone traveling Australia in a van. Um, and then obviously with um, Chuch has gone to this can't phase her team. Um, so in the meantime, um, we picked up Jesse from Adrenaline. So we'll get to him in a sec, but the team features Thuggin, Beefy, Mikey, myself, and Jesse. Um, now just to clarify, Everyone always gets this wrong. Fuggin <laughs> is captaining. Okay. It's not Beefy. It's not myself. It's not Fuggin's first time captaining. Mikey's captain before. But it's it's Fuggin this time. All right. <laughs> um <clears throat> and I guess um I mean it only makes sense for me to talk about them first. Them, us first. But um right off the bat, I want to talk about Jesse. Um so uh played on adrenaline. Uh, for Bendigo Nuts, they placed 14th. And he's, um, man, I only have good things to say about him. He's got good attitude, you know, just a really nice guy. He's, again, one of those guys, like, you take his base, he's like, nice job, nice base. You beat him in a duel, he'll be like, nice duel, nice he dodge. Was... And you're like, stop being so nice. You're making he me feel bad. 
He was captain of the team in Bendigo, wasn't he? So... No, that was Hiller who. Hiller who's going to have something to say about that in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to put a face to it. I know the name. I just no, don't so think Jesse, we ran much. Jesse was uh, more on the defensive side for them. Um, gotcha. So he, in his earlier, like, in his, like, well, up until recently, he's been more of like a, a last line specialist. And he is probably, you know, Second, if not best, like last line we have in Adelaide at the moment. He is That's, like crazy good under a base. That is um, very good for this team then coming into Hobart. I feel like that being said, a good anchor. he's not going to be in there. Just a bit of a sneak peek. We, Ooh. um, you know, we're developing, we want to take this opportunity to like, it's a really good learning opportunity for Jesse and we don't want to just put him in the role he always plays. Um, so you're going to see him like more like outside of the base, potentially on attack and stuff. Um, so, but. You know, we've been training as a, our pre nats team for the, you know, last month and a bit. Um, and he's been doing, like, really, really, really well. Um, he just learns really quickly. He's the type of guy you, like, tell him, hey, you should do this instead of this. And he's like, okay. And then, like, he never makes that mistake ever again in his life. Um, he's really fast, tall, lanky, um, just an athletic dude. Um, so, yeah, watch out for Jesse. He's going to be taking everyone by surprise i think he's not going to be hiding in the base anymore um fuggin yeah here captain us for for bendigo nats um uh yeah just i don't know i'm just gonna i'm just i'm trying to not like thirst over my boys right now <laughs> um but yeah he's probably he's definitely like one of the smartest players like i know um really strong mechanical skills and stuff um and I'm excited to see, like, you know, what sort of stuff he comes up with for for the new arena and stuff. Beefy, we all know Beefy. His name is spelt wrong. That was probably my bad. Um, Beefy, you know, washed up, past his prime, you know, <laughs> should probably start thinking about the retirement village, all of that. But um, <laughs> for real, um, Beefy's, um, the last couple, like, trainings we've had, he's actually, um, you know, he's really picked up. You know, um, you know, I think he wants to, you know, we're obviously tr trying to win this tournament, but obviously the main goal is to try and learn stuff. But um, the better everyone's playing, the more we can learn. So he's definitely, um, you know, taking this seriously. Um, Mikey, um, I think he's been playing more of like a, a mid position for us. And he's just been doing really well. Like, again, just one of those fast players. Like, he's always where he needs to be. He used to captain himself. So, like, he always he's always, like, thinking about the game as a captain as well. Um, so, yeah, he's just... He's always in the right place at the right time. Um, and, yeah, his pack skills are, like, getting really, really good. <clears throat> now that he's not having to captain anymore. Fuggins taken that from him. Um, now we have myself. Um... We're, stick we're sticking me in last line. Just a bit of a sneak peek. I'm just going to be sitting in bases for the entire tournament, guys. You're not going to yeah, see me out there. Last line um, is so fun. <laughs> last line is really fun. So, like, people are, like, always, like, oh, like, Holmes is, like, an attacking player or whatever, you know, mid, whatever. But, like, I actually, for the first, like, most, probably, like, half of my, like, laser tag playing time, I was, like, a last line, like, one trick almost. Um, It was only, like, since probably... 2017 that i started like really developing like attacking and stuff so i'm very much looking forward to just like s sitting in the bases for the majority of this tournament um and i think you'll be in a really good place to do it um hobart bases i really like anchoring them because every defense isn't static the best anchors in hobart don't play static mm. and that's why i think it'll be really interesting seeing which teams can adapt to that style of play and which can't that's my guess at least maybe there'll just be someone that can sit on a wall and just absolutely lock down the base but I, mm. from what we've seen you got to move around to anchor so you want someone with fast reflexes and fast reaction times so i'm keen to see it yeah i am um, gonna have some fun um it actually comes from a little bit um, I actually have had some like hip issues that like for the last like few months, um, it got pretty bad, but I'm, I've gone to a doctor. I know what it is now. I'm on correct medications and stuff, but I think just, um, we've been playing me in like a last line role more 
just to like give my body some time to like still recuperate and stuff. That being said, you know, if someone takes my base, I'm not going to be happy about it, and I'm going to be at your base like pretty pretty soon. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see how long I can last in finals. <laughs> yeah, right. I might get a bit antsy or something. We'll see what happens. I might see red. Um. Anyway, enough about me talking about myself and my team. What have you What have you guys got to say? Um, you guys lost Chuch. Um and, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> um, and I think you guys are still very, very solid, but Chuch has such a role in your team that every time I versed you guys at Bendigo, it was something felt very off when Chuch wasn't in the game. Um, I think from what I've seen of you guys, she commands the midfield and that push defense role so well and her positioning is very good at doing so and her comms of drawing everyone back are so bloody good that i think it's great that she's on the team but i don't think it's great for aftershock uh um but yeah i i just think uh she's such an integral role of the team that it'll be really interesting seeing how aftershock go without it um obviously though still four very very solid players that i can speak to so you guys would definitely be in that top tier of competition you're definitely going to take a lot of games off us um just because of where i placed you i i don't think we'll confidently beat you guys at all in the competition um but yeah i think it's not the strongest aftershock we'll see and i think come nats you guys will be very very strong one of the finals teams but i don't think that's the team for this competition just yet I'm, I'm blushing, Ren. I'm blushing. <laughs> I'm getting flashbang too hard by my screen. I tried to fix it so you can't see it, but I am blushing. Um, Spider, you know, say some more good things about us, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it in. Take it in. <laughs> I'm soaking it in. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's one of the teams that um, I look at, like, personally, um, and... I see you being like the up and comers. So Queensland has like kind of dominated for a while. Um, and Adelaide and Bendigo put on like a quite a solid performance. Um, and it's it's like a list of people, not just in this team, but Adelaide in general, that like I would be happy to see kind of overtake um, in like winning nationals. I think what Runt touched on, I don't think it's quite there yet. I think you need to like do exactly what you're doing, keep training, keep like jumping into different positions and like making your players all-rounders instead of specialists. Um, but I think you're like well on your way. Um, and this team will definitely be one of those teams that I kind of watch throughout the comp to see where you go. Um, and assuming you come, you bring teams towards like pre 2, pre 3 and Nats, I think by nationals, um, you'll definitely be in like a very high position um, throughout that competition. So um, I, I don't, I can't speak on anyone individually. The lineup that I thought was going to happen, like your positions, looking at this player player lineup, it, you've just thrown out the window. So either you're just playing real good mental game um, or you're just completely <laughs> mixing it up. The but... competition's already started, fellas. The competition's already started. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, what you're saying is not where I would put everyone. But again, if you are doing that and it's just for learning experiences, then that's going to benefit you guys heaps come nationals. So... Um, super, super stoked to see where you guys go. Um, and I'm definitely someone that fell into the trap. I refed your games at nationals so much through finals, and not once did I know that Fuggin was <laughs> captaining. So, ah. <laughs> okay, okay, who do you think was captaining? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really know. I was trying to like, I, I make I'm a bit of a nerd, but I make notes, and my notepad for your team was not good. <laughs> so. <laughs> It was either um, you, Beefy, I had a question mark on Mikey, um, mm. and then, yeah, Fuggin was there as well, but I just didn't know, because that's like four players out of your team, so. Madness. No. It's, so it's so crazy, because it's, like, well. it's, like, it's like so obvious to us, because like obviously we know how we play and stuff. Like, yeah. we think it should be obvious, but like, just no one knows. And I mean, whatever. I'm all for it. It's like, it is really funny for us. Like whenever there's like a, um, some kind of a discussion like this, whether it's like us or like on some other, some other platform or something. And we just like, 
All right, get ready for them to talk about us. They're going to get us completely wrong, and I can't wait. <laughs> um, it's always really... It's a bit of a running joke for us as well, but um, I'm all for it. Your guys' push-pull in Bendigo was very, very impressive. Um, so I think if you guys do that in Hobart, it's going to be very strong in Hobart as well. Um, keen to see. I, I think you guys will be one of the teams that does the best, and I think it'll be a very strong strategy come Hobart. Well, thank you very much for the kind words, gentlemen. Not nearly enough shit talking, but <laughs> I'm so very appreciative of it. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's true. Um, I gotta try harder then. Who have we got? Yeah. Chuck out well, for the I, got, I got some grilling to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Enough about those guys, those chumps. Let's move on. <laughs> Shall I just reveal these? No, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna reveal them once. Obviously, we're gonna know what the top one is. But in second place, we have predicted brrr, Sunshine Coast Isotopes. So I had them in third. Run had them in second. Spider had them in second. Thirty-five points. Second place prediction. Uh, on this team, we have uh, Cyrix, Megans, Shock, Mopar, Peregrine, and Link. Um. So, man, who wants to talk about these guys first, huh? Not me. Bags not. I mean, this is one of the teams you go, where's the weak link? There isn't one. You'd hope it'd be Shock, but he's a Queensland new player. He, <laughs> <laughs> he just rolls everyone. Like, it was in, like, Solos Finals or something. Like, there's no weak link on this team. So, you're looking at a very, very strong team where I'm pretty sure... Everyone Mopar's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... That's what we got to pray for, right? Like, we got to pray that they just send Mopar out alone in the finals games. That's what we need. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> otherwise, you're just going to have, like, Link and Madcans just walking through your base through a five-man defense. And you go, what the hell happened there? Ah, oh, didn't even see him. Cool. Uh, and the game's already blown up and Kans is right there ready to deal with a blown up game. He, it blows up exactly when he wants and he knows how to deal with it perfectly. Um these are one of the, like, Cyrex and Kansas team are always the few, one of the few teams I see that know how to use a three-person attack. Very scary when it rocks up at your base and you always get very sad when their two-man defense doesn't drop. It's really annoying. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, these guys are so scary to me. Um, like, just the ability to go from a pack point game where you've got Lincoln Cans just pack pointing for their lives... And then all of a sudden, a base randomly drops that had no right to drop, and it's going to happen every game. It's going to suck to verse these guys. They're going to, they're going to be in, uh, yeah, first or second place. A lot of this comp, I'm thinking. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I think this team is actually like on paper, like the, um, uh, the overall did like the best in like Bendigo Nationals. So there's like three players from Spartans. They got second. One player from Eclipse. They got third. Um, two players from Sunshine Coast Storm. They got sixth. Um, so you've got four players overall that were in the 2022 finals. Shock won Rookie of the Year. Um, yeah, scary stuff. Um, yeah, and like kind of like you were saying, like. Yeah, like the 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 Mad Cans attack just has a way of like you know you think you know you think you're feeling pretty good and then like your base has just dropped and you're like, okay, we shouldn't have dropped that. Like, how <laughs> on earth did that? Like, we've pulled four people back to defend this and have still gotten the base. That's not fair. Well, hopefully, like we got their base at the very least in return. Like you know, if, like you were saying, like the three men attack, you're like, okay, well, I'm sure like our guys like got their base and then maybe you hear like you know like red hit, red hit, like. Your team was denied, and you're like, okay, I give up. Yeah. I'm throwing my phaser down. I give up. Um, it can be pretty frustrating. I think um, we actually had a game against um, Spartans in Bendigo where we were winning, and then in the last ten seconds, like obviously it was Potato who's like not on this team, but like I feel like anyone at Spartans can do this. Um, Potato just like came out of nowhere, walked through, killed all three of us in the defense, and then took the base, and they, like, won the game because of it. And we were like, oh, my God, that is... They have no right to do that, and they just do it anyway. Um, but that's enough from me. Spider, <laughs> um, what have you got to say, Mark? 
Um, yeah, I think now that we're getting towards the end of the like list, I think it's important to note that like a lot of this comp is just going to be about teams that adapt. Um, obviously, from like I haven't played Barrel Sensors and Helios 2, but I think from what you've said, Run, it's going to make quite an interesting comp. Like even some good players could drop a few ranks because of just how quickly they adapt. Yeah, um, and I, I think, think this is. Oh, you go. Yeah, I think the smart players. The people like Cairns, like Link and stuff, they're just going to instantly be good at the system. They're going to just go, oh, I just need to peak my phaser at this exact time in these scenarios. Cool, I've got it. Um, and very few players will be able to do it, but some people will just look like they've been playing the system for years. Yeah, Sorry, go on. <laughs> yeah, I think <clears throat> this is like one of the teams where I, I look at the players on it and I see a bit of a mix and I'm not, I'm not sure how they sit together um and like how they're going to play as one team um but it has been done before like i feel like a lot of the prenats we see the cyrex mad cans combo um and having shock step up obviously we've like tooted his horn quite a bit he's definitely someone that's going to be impressive this comp i hope um mopar he just does mopar like he'll just always be wherever he needs to be and do something um whether it's just trash talk or like whatever um I see Peregrine being quite scary. Um, if he can pick up like how the system works, I just see him running laps from like door to door, door to door, door to door, like the whole comp. Um, and that's just all he'll do. And yeah, run. I think you said it, but having like Mad Cans and Link on there, if it goes to a pack point game, I don't think many teams are going to be able to like control those two um, as they're kind of playing around. So I'm not quite sure like where this team sits in the maze um, and the positions that they're going to play, but. I know yeah. that, yeah, they have enough experience on there to kind of like, if they do pick it up quickly, then yeah, they deserve to be in that like top three for sure. Yeah, I do wonder who ends up anchoring because you can't do Cyrex's anchor. I'm pretty sure they're better on a door outside anyway. Um, yeah. So, especially because they're captain. So you end up with maybe like a shock or a link anchor. Link yeah. suck to verse. You always go, oh, he's going to be out getting bases. I can attack. And Link's just home <laughs> for some reason. And feel he's like, a really good anchor when nobody thinks of him as one. I feel like you see Mad Cans and Link at like green. And then you're like, sweet, I'll go and like pick my head at red. And then you crack it and Link's under. And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting at least. At least yeah. once. <laughs> um. Yeah, I um yeah we did have a question from Wax in the chat. It was um is it like a very a very sniping arena? It was kind of answered by Twinkles, but I wanted to get your take on it as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's an arena where when you're attacking, it is an arena. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but when you're attacking, you're constantly getting shot in the back. Uh, so a lot of attacks kind of incorporate shooting snipers and then going in but more so it's about drawing the defenders into those lines of sight and not getting in them yourselves so it's a very how can i drag defenders here and set up my attack so that most of the time you can get the other team to do the work for you you can get the snipers to do the work for you if you're attacking but if you don't know how to do that then you just get absolutely railed because it's a small brawly maze where you can take um three panels up from base and still be a defender but still be able to snipe towards another base most spaces have safe spots to set up but you're gonna have to brawl for them if you want those safe spots man that's gonna be hard work yeah. huh yeah <laughs> you won't have to worry about that right no i'm <laughs> i'm so keen i am so keen um Go, Jesse, yeah. you got this. I'll just chill yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's like the, that's, that is the strategy. Um, but, um, yeah, obviously, all the players on this team, really good. Mad Cans will be, I, I did like ask ask them to clarify this, but Mad Cans will definitely be the in game leader for this, despite oh, sorry, okay. being yeah. like the um, on paper captain. That makes sense. So, actually. and as soon as that happens, like, man, that's scary. <laughs> yeah. So could very could you know see this team like definitely taking a bunch of wins off of like you know like you said um run like I would expect them to be like first and second you know I don't I if I ever saw them outside of the top three like throughout the duration of the competition I would be very surprised 
um something's probably going wrong you know what i mean <laughs> yeah but um yeah do we have any 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 parting thoughts on these guys no sir no sir <laughs> all right okay don't need a drum roll who to guessed it first place hobart vikings um we all unanimously had them in in first place earning them the maximum points 39 um we have runt cv leper twinkles gandhi and karen the poached poached karen <laughs> um run you get to talk about yourself and your team a little bit uh i mean we're the, well yeah we're the expected win i guess but it's not a confident one by any metric i doing these predictions i'm going like shuffling the top three around a bunch but i'm like whatever we are the expected win on paper um it's home maze we've been training a lot recently um and we've got the system too which is still new to us but we've had it for like about two months longer than the other people will have it um so i've been trying to change our mindset to get used to that uh but yeah we've still at the end of the day we've uh still got a new player on the team so it's not like a refined process by any means yet um and we're still trying to work out where everyone fits best kind of kind of deal so i don't know we're not at the point i would like to be at this stage of the year but hey it's pre-nuts one it's this is a learning competition for us as well um, the mind games have already started spider don't believe a word he says <laughs> uh, dude i'm on it it's all good <laughs> yeah um no, it's gonna last long. I already know. <laughs> I will be <laughs> keen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, essentially, like, we'll do well. But another thing is, we very few of us have recent finals experience. We always choke in finals. Like, I think we did it in Darwin when we lost the Spiders team. We uh, did it this year. Granted, this year we were all absolutely wrecked, but we dropped far below what we were playing throughout the rest of the competition. Uh, finals normally don't go too well for us, so we're hoping we can fix that up, but it, yeah, it never really happens. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know. Can't really speak on my own team too much. So nah, I'll do it. take it away. <laughs> uh, uh, Twinkles is getting really, really bloody good. I, I don't think many people are seeing how good he's getting, but like, Ben Don't say that way in the chat. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> nah. Uh, Dark Horse or whatever, but like he's getting good. Um, <laughs> so I think he'll he'll be a very big player in this competition that people actually have to start really looking out for. Um, CV, uh, <laughs> he's getting old. <laughs> nah, um, he's still bloody good. Like area denial, you're not gonna do much better than CV. So and similarly with leper in terms of like brawling and taking space those are two of the best players at it so we have a uh, sort of players that are very good in each position but we don't have the most rounded team unfortunately which might bite us in the arse at finals um gandhi been more of a defensive role for a few years and karen being a very offensive role but on a in a sort of finals game where denials can cost you might it uh chuck him get some experience in defense for him before we play the comp so yeah I don't know. that's what i was gonna ask is how how has karen been um adapting to being on on this team he fits the team so perfectly like yeah we poached him from archangels but i think both teams will kind of agree he fits the vikings play style so bloody well very quick very dart back and forth um quite a rigid play style which i think our team kind of has i don't know if that's a good thing but that's kind of what we have um <laughs> so it's a very sort of uh get base and then run the hell away kind of mindset that we often have as well <laughs> which is probably not a good thing but he fits our team well and it, uh, i think he fits this team better than he did arc ages in my, in my opinion um so yeah he fits it really well but he's still new to the team although i think we're seeing very few kinks like with him like when when we mess up it's rarely karen but i don't know we do have to kind of work around the fact that he's just been playing many years less than all of us so he kind of has way less game experience in game sense so it's a bit more micromanaging than you would give to most of the players on the team kind of deal okay um 
Spider, have you got any any thoughts for these guys? Yeah, I think <clears throat> um, Runt and I talk at like competitions heaps um, about each other's teams, and the biggest thing here is like there's so much experience, um, but there's also like a lot of old play styles mixed with newer play styles, and so it's trying to like mix it all together so that it goes well. I think the reason I put you guys um, in first is like heavily based off having little but any time on the equipment as well as like a lot of experience in the maze um and i don't think two days is enough for the other teams to catch up but i think if you start like kind of having little leaks in your team um it could quite easily happen and i think the good thing in that is that you guys are aware of that so that's going to be like a priority for you guys to fix so um i obviously yeah top three i think is like like third would probably be the worst outcome for you. I don't see you guys dropping too far down the ladder. Um, I don't want to eat my words, but <laughs> um, I know like how much of a force you have in the maze run. Um, and then CV is always like, I think you said it, but denials is just like where he gets you. He'll be attacking. Like I played Hobart a few times, but he'll be attacking a base and then still deny me at a different base. Like he can just run. He's always in the right right place and the right range for denials so um very scared about that and then yeah twinkles is always like he's always on and off like one comp he's <laughs> just keeps me out and then the next comp he's just like in the corner jamming to music or something so like whatever happens there <laughs> um leper's always one of those people that i think he he hasn't adapted to like the new like meta and the play style that we use currently um but he's he's like go back a few years and he's dominating. So I think in the mix of like the support that UCV and Twinkles give him, I think he, he plays comfortably. Um, as for Karen, like he's the staple that I think about when I talk about um, Archangels. So I'm, if, you, if he does mesh quite well, like you've said he has, I'm super excited to see where he goes. Cause yeah, he's one of those players that has always wanted to, play well and play fast but i don't think the team has let him um whereas now that he's on your team i think yeah he'll probably just skyrocket so yeah overall um i think yeah you guys should place quite high but i'm kind of banking the first place on a bit of experience um if you haven't had as much experience with like timing and you've had a few pack issues and stuff to sort out that might put you guys in a bit more of a situation where first place keeps swapping throughout the comp yeah I, I expect it to swap at the very least. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think it'll be a maintained first. And <laughs> unfortunately, I see it as choky in finals. It's a real possibility, but I think... Um, don't believe a word you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. If, if we can control the game, I think we'll be in a good spot. Um, and yeah, see if we can actually maintain that. Mm. Yeah, I um, <clears throat> I definitely remember, like Bendigo Nats. Anytime we versus you guys, um, it was like, yeah, I don't know. It didn't feel like you made very many mistakes. Like in Bendigo, you might say differently, but um, you know, it was you. We would have to like outplay you to win the game. You know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. you versus teams and they just give it to you, and you're like, all right, cool, thanks. <laughs> Uh, I'll take it. But um every win we got over you guys felt like we really had to like earn it. Um so I um yeah. Like Spider was saying, you know, the home side advantage obviously it deteriorates. It's not as like pre pre prevalent like as we go to like prenets 2, 3 and nationals especially. But for prenets 1, um it doesn't get more advantageous than than this. Um the Helios 2 advantage um we'll be doing you guys like outside of like you guys being like a really 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 amazing team those two things will be doing you huge favors and that's why like when i was thinking about who am i going to put first i was like there's for me there's no question like um i would be very surprised if you guys didn't come first obviously <laughs> aftershock and the boys we're coming for you we're coming for scouts all right i'm gonna have something to say about that when we get there but um yeah no Super excited. And hopefully, like, you all won't be like zombies. Um, that'll help. <laughs> It'd be nice to play a comp where our team's healthy. It hasn't happened in a long time. 
Madness. 